Welcome back everybody, it's time to lock down another Sunday booster cracking. Last week we went to the polls and I asked you guys to vote on which Force of Will set you guys wanted to open up next. We had the choices between the Game of Gods Reloaded, the brand new set that just came out, my second box. We had some New Dawn Rises, one of my favorite sets and you know we're hunting for that secret rare. And we had the classic set of the Twilight Wanderer. And you guys voted for Twilight Wanderer. I honestly couldn't be happier. One of you guys commented we need to go for the uber rare Alice and uh, yeah, I can't help but agree. We haven't gotten an uber rare in a while and we haven't gone hunting for one in a little bit either. So I would definitely love to find us a nice uber rare Alice. That would be freaking phenomenal. And it's always nice to go into these sets that have the nice foil stamped cards they are super cool to find and pull and uh, I'll, I'll take a stamped alice too that would be sweet i don't have her yet in a stamped it's definitely one of the cards we want to be looking for i did pull one of the uber rares from this set i pulled valentina as an uber rare on a live stream back in the day here about a year ago i think and yeah i'd love to just jump back into this nice little box and uh try to find something else that's pretty sweet so let's open it up and let's see what we can get Ooh, this box is dusty it has been sitting a while i can't remember if this is one of the ones that I got from a pre-release kit, I know I got a couple pre-release kits on sale on eBay for a really good price um, for the Twilight Wanderer. I can't remember if this is one of them. We got our nice little pamphlet cutout thing here of Alice, pretty sweet. And we got our nice little packs. There's the Dark Alice we want to be looking for there. Let's do it. But before we do, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet already. I know a bunch of you guys aren't subscribed yet, so come on in and help support the channel and take a look at our community tab for more of these voting polls. All right, let's do it. First pack, let's see what we can get here. We got some super awesome cards, some classic cards in this set. We got our rare first one, Barrier of Flame. Again, a classic card, Rulers, Memoria. I need to get that in like a full art. Would be super cool. Uh, I believe that one has some value still, so not too bad. We just got a common foil. Again, with this set, there's not a whole lot of value outside of like the really nice uber rares and save for a couple, you know, exceptional stamped foils like the Dark Alice stamp foil or like Valentina stamp foil. Uh, those would be the ones we want to look out for. We got Goddess of Jealousy, Sacred Beast Memoria. Again, I think some of the stamp foils of these memorias can be a couple bucks, but nothing too crazy. Flash of Demon Sword. We are just hunted for the gold. Yo, did we just hit a god pack? <laughs> you what? Dude, a god pack from Twilight Wanderer. That's freaking awesome. Okay, fingers crossed. Maybe we'll get something really good. We're only three packs in. What the frick is going on here, huh? This is already uh, turning out to be a great box. Okay, this is like third pack down on the left hand side just chilling on the top okay phoenix the flame of the world i know it's not worth anything but it's a dope foil stamp oh man i freaking love god packs dude how crazy is that ziz the bird from can't even read the rest of that what does it say bird that envelops the sky that's right that's right bird that envelops the sky yo we got prissy a beast queen in hiding again like maybe like a two dollar card for her she's not too bad that's a good character card to get in a foil stamped Ah, Dark Varia, Shadow Princess of Ebony, stamped foil. Oh, it's so, so cool. That's so sick. Oh my gosh. I love that we're hitting this right now. This is so great. Elizabeth, Shadow Princess of Blood. I mean, we're basically going to get pff, all our big hits right here. This is crazy. Elizabeth's not worth anything, though. Vivian, Lady of the Lake. Come on, can we just take a moment to appreciate these foiled stamps? They're so, so good. Ah, Vivian, not too great of a card though, not expensive. We got Arthur, the classic, 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 king of the round table, Arthur. Very cool looking card, sharp, sharp. Leviathan, first of the sea. We got one more in here. I think we got like one more. Oh man, yes, M. Dumbre, however you want to say it. The Unfathomable, one of my favorite Lovecraftian Cthulhu cards. We got one more, we got one more behind it. Okay, okay, okay. All right, we got Unfathomable. This is a sweet card. I love this guy. He's super cool in a nice stamp. I think he does maybe have like five bucks on him. And then we got the classic little match girl, a hot card of its time. Uh, this card was pretty expensive when these sets first came out and people really wanted the foil stamp. So this is a classic card. You got to give love to the old throwback metas. You know, this she was in the meta for a little bit. So not a bad God pack at all. That is freaking awesome. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> I don't know how to follow that up. That's freaking great. Oh my goodness, God pack, third pack in. Can't You can't write it, you know, you can't just, you can't write it at all. I guess we can just skip past some of these commons and uncommons. We got Lancelot as our rare. 
We got Arthur, which we got in the nice foil stamped and Dance of Shadows, uncommon foil. All right, let's see the next one here. All right, cards are flipping about. Yeah, I think we're just going to do the skip, save a little bit of time here today on this one. We got the Unfathomable, just the regular, not even the foil. He's a dope card, though. I love it. And Sylvia's Roar, non, uh, just an uncommon, non rare, I was going to say, I guess. But yeah, just an uncommon foil. All right, high hopes. High hopes for this box. If we're pulling God Packs, you know, you never know. You never know. That doesn't necessarily guarantee you're not going to hit anything good sometimes with these. Uh, we passed over Rare. We already saw her. It's the Goddess of Jealousy. And we get a stamped Vivian Lady of the Lake again. That's pretty cool. Dang. Stack up them foil stamps. Let's get it. Come on. What do we got behind this one here? Uncommon. We got Joanne D'Arc, Shadow Princess, a Water Magic Stone, and yo, Excalibur, the Spirit God Sword as a foil stamp. Sick card in a foil. That's pretty lit, I'll be honest. That's pretty sick. I love the artwork on this one. Really sharp. I don't know if I have this one in a stamp yet. Okay, we're just like hitting everything at the top packs, which is crazy. We're going straight to our rare Holy Ground of the Four Sacred Beasts, a Wind Magic Stone. Shadows Memoria, foil stamped. I love these things, man. These are so freaking cool. Love this card too. This is decent. This is decent. Um, it might be like a buck, buck 50, something like that. Gonna have to refresh my memory on these lesser known Memoria cards from this set, but the foil stamps uh, can retain a little bit of value on the Memorias, depending. When I say you guys voted right, you really voted right, all right? I couldn't be more happy that you guys started voting for this one hardcore because I think it was a right choice. You got me hyped to open it up. We got Dark Machinima here. We got the Gliding Shadow. Schrodinger Dinger. Not a fan of this Schrodinger. I don't know why. Just never, never did anything for me. Glorious Castle. Rare foil. Non-stamped. I think Schrodinger stamped is actually halfway decent it might be like an eight buck or ten buck or something like that so that's another one that we could potentially be looking out for here whoa yo it's the dark alice maiden of slaughter j ruler let's freaking go huge huge hit that's freaking awesome and we got a foil uh scorn of dark alice is that scorn or so what is that Scorn, yeah, Scorn. All right, Scorn, Common Foil, we don't care though. We got our first J Ruler hit, and it is Dark Alice. It is not like the foil stamped, but that is okay. This is a great one to get, even in just the regular foiling. It's Dark Alice, man. She goes for like 15, 18 bucks just on her own. And then I think the foil stamped, she's around like 25, 30, something like that. But this is great. Solid, solid hit for sure. Let's keep going. First J Ruler down. And we keep cruising. Let's just skip to the good stuff. We got a rare right there. Wow, we're just skipping everything. Our stupid birds that I'm never a fan of. And then we got our foil stamped. Refrain, Child of Convergence. Foil stamped, J Ruler. Why did we just... Why was... The, okay, wow. That was like just lucky left side craziness right there. Like it just... So much, so much that we just pulled here. Back to back. I mean, we had J Ruler, the next pack, J Ruler, all in the same row. It just, that's insane. We got Foil Stamped, Refrain, Child of Convergence. Again, another classic card. We got Refrain and Reflect, Child of Potential. And then we've got the Refrain side here, Foil Stamped version. This is another one of those cards that um, had some value back in the day. Pretty hard meta, so much so that I believe this card was banned back in the day because of how strong it was. A pretty crazy card. I think it's because you like didn't cost anything to judgment it. Yeah, judgment zero. It just was like insanely powerful for the time in the meta. So if this was back like you know five six years ago, however long ago this set came out, this would have been a really sharp card to get in a nice foil stamped. Really cool. Dang, I can't believe we just like back to back J ruler that. That's pretty insane. This has been like a heart, a, a heart, hot start to this series, this set. Little Match Girl behind it, that was Barrier of Shadows, another rare. And then we got Shadow Doppelganger, just an uncommon, but a cool card. I like the artwork on this one. Let's see it, let's see it. Let's go, let's go. We've got, where's our rare? Let's see it. We got the stupid drinker of death, Eagle, Eagly Man, Phoenix, the flame of the world, super rare, and we've got uncommon foil. This is a great box. This is a great box. I'm having fun. Now we hit two J rulers. I can't remember. I always get confused of which sets 
uh, have more than two jail rulers per box. This might be one of those sets where you can get more, but we did get Shadows Memoria and a nice foiling. Pretty sweet looking card behind it with an uncommon foiling. Double foil here on this one, pretty sweet. I feel like we potentially could get one more J Ruler out of this box. I just, I can never remember. First of all, Seeker of the Holy Grail is our rare and Darkness Magic Stone with, oh yeah, a Dark Fire, a Shadow Princess of Ebony. Sweet card, love this card. One of my favorites from this set. She looks dope. Not really worth anything, but that's okay. They don't all have to be, you know? You collect what you like, and that's it. You don't have to always worry about the money side of it. Guinevere, Jealous Queen. We got a Foil Wind Magic Stone with Leviathan of First of the Sea, the First of the Sea, super rare, foil, non-stamped, that's okay. All right. Let's keep cruising through. Let's see what we got in this one here. Uncommon, uncommon. Let's get a little straight here. Barrier of Shadows. Oh, another card that has been banned, speaking of which. the What is this one? Leviathan? Le Leviathan? The Demon Sword? However you want to say it. This is another card that got heavy banned back in the day of the meta. Rare, Sasumihimi, Goddess of Passion. Non Stamped? Can't remember what I'm saying. All right, let's keep it coming. All right, here we go. Skip to the uncommons, that's fine. We got Drinker Death Rare with Excalibur Spirit of God Sword Rare. And then we've got Barrier of Flame Rare Foil, nice. Into the next, let's see it. All right, let's get it going here. Let's get past these uncommons. We got Rare Castle Town, Glorious Castle Town, Excalibur the God Sword, sweet looking card. And Dark Machinima Gliding Shadow Rare Foil. He looks sick with the foiling. Really, really sharp, I like it. He's cool. I don't know if I've gotten, can you get him in a foil stamped? It's gonna like block his face if you do, that's crazy. I don't think he's worth anything in a foil stamp really, but he is a like pretty solid looking foil just on his own. All right, we got Guinevere, Jealous Queen, Rare, Change the World, Orb of Illusion, Rare, and then we got Dark Resard, the Dying Shadow, Rare, Foil, sweet looking card, classic looking Resard. In we go, let's see it, and we shall go whatever Uncommon Beast Queen's Counterattack, classic. Uh, Unyielding Flames Memoria Rare, and we've got Burn to Cinders, just a common foil. Next up, let's see it. All right, we've got, go straight to the rare Gawain, Knight of the Sun. Looks silly, Fairy's Memoria, cool looking for, uh, Fairy Memoria. It's just, it's just a cool card. And Pride of Knights, common. All right, let's see it. Bang, how many packs can we go through before my timer runs out? Beast Queen's counterattack. We got the bird that envelops the sky again. And hey, another stamp, the invasion ship, the golden hand. Uh, cool looking stamp foiling, but I'm not a fan of any of these like silly little ship cards. So whatever. Let's keep seeing what we can see here. Skipping to, can't quite skip to the rare, but there it is, Overlord's Baptism. And we got a nice foil, Fire Magic Stone, dope. And Beast Queen's counterattack rare, that is sick. All right. What do we got on this one here? We got a little Young Knight, and we got the Final Forfeit Eater. We got Recollection of Dystopia Rare, Darkness Magic Stone. Okay, we got our little Magic Stone foilings coming up here in a row, and Barrier of Shadows Rare Foil. Cool card. Hey, there it is. All right, let's see what we can find in this one. We've got Gawain again as our rare. We got Dark Faria, Princess of Ebony, and we've got, ooh, a very solid... Guinevere the Jealous Queen as a foil stamp. Haven't seen a foil stamped of you. Not sure I even have you in a foil stamp. This box is great, man. It's doing really well for us right now. I'm, I'm digging it. Nice card, nice foil stamped. But can we find the Uber Rare? Can we find another J Ruler? Again, I'm not sure. I can't remember for the life of me if we can get another J Ruler in here. Pressable Seeker of the whatever, Holy Grail. Vivian Lady of the Lake and Overlord's Invasion Party. Just an uncommon. Next up, let's see it. We've got skipping two. Right, I think we just got one more rare, Overlord's Baptism. And we got Water Magic Stone. You get like one of each in these boxes, kind of cool. And bang, Little Match Girl, the classic Little Match Girl, just the foil non-stamped. Let's see it, let's see it. All right, bang, we've got common. Uh, I thought we went to the rares. Almost, Recollection of Dystopia. They're sliding away from me. Fire Magic Stone and eh, envelops the sky foil. Bleh. Get those hawks and eagles out of here, all right? We want to see the character artwork, not eagles. All right, that's fine. We got Dance of Shadows. We got Barrier Flame as our rare. And we got Elizabeth, Princess of Blood, Shadow Princess of Blood, super rare with... What did I just say, man? I said I don't want the eagles. 
and you're giving me a foil stamped eagle little felon floor eraser of wind i don't care Ugh, bummer stupid eagle taking up my foil slots when we could be getting something else i have such disdain for the eagles i don't know why all right uncommon we got dark resard rare light magic stone and valentina zealot that's a cool looking common foil though i like his artwork it's neat it's pretty cool artwork i like his character design all right let's do another and there he is again right on top just saying hey remember me you just got a foil get out of here racer of wind you are our rare fire magic stone and servant of reflect common we will pull out the remaining four packs and we will start searching for one final good hit let the search continue four remaining packs and in we go common uh common rare is beat of the phoenix wings with hey a foil version of i wish i could remember how to say this name the demon sword cool looking card with a wind sprite common foil behind it all righty let's get into the next one here and let's go to the rare itself. Did I miss a rare? Nope, we went straight to the rare. We got Himmy Goddess of Passion, a Light Magic Stone foil. Okay, you know, we got to get it. And then we got Alice's Little Supply Force coming. Two packs. Let's see it. Second to last. Let's go through it. Just Let's just cruise through it a little bit here, you know? Take a, a gander back at some of these classic cards. Elaine, we got Grand Cross rare, and we got Light Magic Stone, and... Uh, as produced giant landmine common there will our final pack see us through with an uber rare one crazy uber rare i'm guessing we could only get two j rulers in this box um so we probably won't find a new rare. i don't know unless like i literally just uh, we'll go through it we'll go through it all right unless i literally am just missing one j ruler and it's right here dark arla we got galahad dark rezard and we've got wind magic stone let's see what it is Oh, okay, we had one more foil stamp tied in the back. We got Shadow Princess of Blood again. Sweet. All right, not bad. Only two J-Rulers. Let's do some pulls of the day. All right, I brought it down a little bit to just a spare few here of the nice foil stamps that I believe still have a little bit of value. You could tell me in the comments if I was right or wrong. But first off, we got here Shadow's Memoria, a nice foil stamped of it. Looking really, really sick. I really like it. And we got a Prissia Beast Queen in hiding. I know she has a couple bucks value. Not bad in the foiled stamp, so I threw in there. Uh, Abdomable, the Unfathomable dude, he is pretty cool. And, you know, people still like buying his card and making kind of the Cthulhu-esque type decks. So I think he should be decent. Guinevere, now I'm not sure about this one. I could be totally wrong on her foiled stamp. She may not be worth anything, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I do believe Dark Faria, Shadow Princess of Ebony, still has a little bit of value on the foil stamp. So that's I'm fine with that because she looks sick. And we've got our J Rulers, our first foil stamp J Ruler. We got the Refrain Child of Convergence, an awesome looking card. We love it over here. It looks sweet. You know it. But behind it, our best card of the day was obviously the Dark Alice Maiden of Slaughter. Good old Dark Alice just coming in clutch making our box extra worth it, even after the God Pack. But man, this was a great box. And if you guys enjoyed, again, please make sure to subscribe, support the channel, leave a like, share the video around the Force of Will community, and stay tuned for more. We've been opening up Pokemon last week. If you haven't seen that, go check that one out. We opened up Crazy Bones. We've been doing some silly Glios figures over here too. So if you guys want to see more content, let me know in the comments below what you want to see next from some of the choices we got behind me here. And we will see you guys in the next one.